It's time for an adventure with Gus the Gummy Gator! Hey Gus, I need your help! Gustav is causing trouble at the Golden Gate Bridge! Can you help me? Of course I can help, Red Titan! I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> there you are, Gustav! I've been looking for you! What? Gus the Gummy Gator? Hi, little gators! I'm looking at this map to see which place will be the most fun to visit! There are so many places! You could probably go to every state! Whoa! I wonder who's calling me! Whoa! It's my friend Red Titan! Hey Gus! I need your help! Gustav is causing trouble at the Golden Gate Bridge! The bridge is 746 feet tall! But Gustav found a way to make the whole thing disappear! Now people are stuck and can't cross to the other sides! I'm battling the evil Dark Titan right now and need you to help stop Gustav's evil plan! Can you help me? Oh no! Gustav is up to his own tricks again! Of course I can help Red Titan! I'm on my way! Be careful, Gus! I think Dark Titan has even more evil plans all across the country and Gustav is helping! The Golden Gate Bridge is in San Francisco, California! Please hurry! You heard Red Titan, little gators! We have to go help save the Golden Gate Bridge from Gustav! It's time to go on a road trip! I need to get there super fast! Let's go! Woohoo! Hey! It's the Hollywood sign! Cool! I wish I had time to stop by all these great places, but Red Titan needs my help! Whoa! Check it out, little gators! We made it! All these cars need to cross the bridge, but Gustav has made it disappear! Come on, little gators! Let's go find him! Was that a laser beam shooting towards the bridge? <laughs> there you are, Gustav! I've been looking for you! What? Gus the Gummy Gator? Why are you making the Golden Gate Bridge disappear? Uh, I'm just having a little fun! <laughs> Gustav, these people need to cross the bridge safely, and I will not let you get away with this! Okay, fine. Let's play a game. If you can pass my test, I'll bring the bridge back. <laughs> You're on, Gustav! I'll never let you win! <laughs> Here's the first question. How tall is the Golden Gate Bridge? Is it A. 350 feet B. 746 feet Or C. 1 million feet? <laughs> oh no! That is a tough one! Wait! Didn't Red Tight say something about the bridge's height? Hey Gus! I need your help! Gustav is causing trouble at the Golden Gate Bridge! The bridge is 746 feet tall! But Gustav found a way to make the whole thing disappear! I remember now! The answer is B! 746 feet! Yes, you got that one right! But can you answer this? What color is the Golden Gate Bridge? Is it A. Slimy green? B. Spectacular purple? Ooh, popsicles! Or C. International orange? Oh no! I don't know this one! I need to call Peck for help! Hey Peck! I need your help! Do you know what color the Golden Gate Bridge is? Hmm. According to my research, the color of the Golden Gate Bridge is... International Orange! Thanks, Peck! You're the best! Oh, gosh. All right, Gustav! The answer is C. International Orange! What? Uh, is that your final answer? Final answer, Gustav! You're right again, little gator. You may have ruined my first plan, but you won't be able to stop my next one! Catch me if you can! <laughs> oh no! Hey Gus, how do you go with Gustav at the Golden Gate Bridge? Gustav put me to the test! But with some help from Peck, we were able to bring the bridge back for everyone across safely! That's great to hear, Gus! 
Good work! Oh no! I'm getting an alert that something strange is going on in Yosemite National Park! It might be Gustav again! Can you go there and check it out? You got it, Red Titan! Gus the Gummy Gator is on the job! Thanks, Gus! I knew I could count on you! Be safe! Time for another road trip, little gators! Hi, Mr. Bear! Check it out, little gators! We're in nature now! It's so peaceful out here! Hey, Gus! Just wanted to call and see how things are going! Well, I was talking to Red Titan, and then he got an alert about something going on at Yosemite National Park! He asked me to come check it out, and we think it's Gustav again! Hmm. Gustav is at the Yosemite National Park! I hope he doesn't damage anything! That famous park is known for its beautiful landscapes and animals. Wow! I sure do love animals! There's lots of animals here in this park. Like bears, owls, and even reptiles. That's so cool! Maybe some of my reptile friends from the swamp are here. Hey, little gators. Did you hear that? Sounds like a waterfall. Let's go check it out! Whoa! It is a waterfall! Oh gosh, that's Yosemite Falls. It's the tallest waterfall in Yosemite Park. Whoa, I didn't know Yosemite Falls was this huge. I wonder if I could ride down in the water. No way, Gus. You can't ride down a waterfall. They move too fast. You're right, Peck. That's too dangerous. Well, I'm going to keep looking for Gustav, Peck. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. to the waterfall! <laughs> Looks like your beautiful waterfall is all mine now, Gus the Gummy Gator! <laughs> Gustav! I knew I would find you here! You need to put that waterfall back, Gustav! All these living things around the waterfall needed to survive! I don't know how you found me again, but I'll give you a test question to try and save the famous Yosemite Falls. Which of these animals is not living in Yosemite National Park? Is it A. Bears B. Reptiles Or C. Unicorns Peck just told me about some of the animals that live in Yosemite! Wow! I sure do love animals! There's lots of animals here in this park! Like bears, owls, and even reptiles! I remember now! The answer is C! Unicorns! Ah, that's correct! How do you keep getting my questions correct? I'll get you next time! See you later, Gator! <laughs> Peck, thanks for telling me about the animals that live in Yosemite National Park! You pretty much saved Yosemite Falls from being gone forever! Well, I could help, Gus! Oh, I have to update Red Titan about stopping Gustav! Hold on, Peck! Hey, Red Titan! I found Gustav, and we were able to save the largest waterfall in Yosemite Park! But he still got away! That's okay, Gus! You and Peck did a great job! For all your hard work, I'm sending you both this special California road trip sticker! Wow! That's so cool! And it's a picture of Ryan! Wow! This is totally spectacular! Oh no! I'm being alerted that Gustav is now causing trouble in Times Square! That's in New York, Gus! Can you head over there? No problem, Red Titan! I'm on my way! Good luck, Gus! Call me if you need any help! New York is really far from here! I better get going if I'm gonna catch up to him! Come on, little gators! Let's go! Hey guys, real quick, check out these new Titan Universe toys that Ryan helped make. My super family and friends go on many fun adventures and defeat bad guys. All new Eggs and Mecha Titan toys available, so you can create your own Titan Universe adventures at home. Open some prize bag micro figures and build your robot. You can find the Titan Universe toys at Walmart, Target, and Smith's. But let's get back to Ryan's world. Where is the Statue of Liberty? 
I wonder if Gustav had something to do with that. Wow! Look at all the tall buildings! I have to focus on finding Gustav! Look at all these buildings, little gators! I'm gonna call back because I need help finding Gustav! Hey, Gus! How are things in Times Square? I read that the city has the brightest and prettiest lights in all of New York! I also read that you can eat some delicious New York-style pizza and go on a tour of all the candy stores! I can definitely smell the pizza! And yes, the lights are so pretty! Wait a second! All the lights just turned off for some reason! Can you help me find Gustav and look to see if anyone's using magical powers in the city? Sure thing, Gus! Oh gosh, Gus! My tracker shows that someone is using magic to keep all the bright lights turned off! Gustav has to be close by! <laughs> all these lights are mine! All mine! <laughs> Whoa! I just heard Gustav! He's definitely close by! Gotta go, Peck! Thanks for your help! <laughs> I knew I would find you, Gustav! You just can't stop using your magic, can you? What? How did you find me again? You have to stop using your power and let these lights shine bright again! Fine, 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 little Gator. But you know the rules. If you get my test questions correct, the lights will come back on. If you get it wrong, I will take all these lights and use them in my secret lair. <laughs> Let's do it, Gustav! I'll stop you as many times as it takes! Which one of these things can you not do in Times Square? Is it A. Eat a New York style pizza B. Take a tour of a candy store Or C. Visit farm animals Oh no! Beck just told me about this but I can't remember! Uh, is it take a tour of candy stores? <laughs> Silly Gator! No! The correct answer is C. Visit farm animals. You're wet. I read that the city has the brightest and prettiest lights in all of New York. I also read that you can eat some delicious New York style pizza and go on a tour of all the candy stores. I should have remembered that. Looks like I won this time, little Gator. If you want another try to turn the lights back on, you'll have to try and find me again. <laughs> oh no! He got away again! Hey Gus, how's everything going? I'm sorry, Red Titan. I was able to find Gustav, but then I got his question wrong and, and then he got away! That's okay, Gus. Gustav is very sneaky, but I believe in you and I know you'll get the test question right next time. Wait! I'm getting an alert from Central Park! That has to be Gustav! That's not far from where you are, Gus. Do you think you're ready to try again? Woohoo! I'm ready, Red Titan! I'm on my way! Woohoo! <gasps> Whoa! Check it out, little gators! We're back in the great outdoors! I like Central Park! Hey, Gus! Were you able to find Gustav? Yeah, but I got the test question wrong, and now I have to find him all over again! I just got to Central Park now! This park looks awesome, and there are so many people here! This park is huge! That's right, Gus! Central Park is one of the most popular parks in the entire United States! People go there for the scenic walks and to enjoy the great outdoors! The park itself is 843 acres big! Uh, is 843 acres a lot? In other words, that means this park is bigger than the country of Monaco. What? You mean you can fit an entire country in here? That's so cool! <laughs> Watch out, little gator. I need more lights for my secret lair. There you are, Gustav. I want another chance to turn the Times Square lights back on. And you can put all those lampposts back, too! Okay, Gus the Gummy Gator, I will give you another chance since you found me yet again. If you don't get this question right, 
you will have failed the quiz and I keep all the likes I have collected. <laughs> I'm ready, Gustav! If Red Titan believes in me, I believe in me. Which one of these countries is smaller than Central Park? Is it A, Brazil, B, Monaco, or C, the United Kingdom? Oh, I know, I know. I just told you, Gus. Ah! <laughs> no cheating. Don't worry, Peck. I remember this one. The park itself is 843 acres big. Uh, is 843 acres a lot? In other words, that means this park is bigger than the country of Monaco. The answer is B. Monaco! Ah! That's correct. You've defeated me and passed the quiz. Woohoo! We did it, little gators! That means you need to turn on all the bright lights in Times Square and put all the lampposts back in Central Park. You clever little gator. Fine, you won fair and square. I'll put the lights back fast and easy. Put everything back the way they were! You passed my quizzes this time, little gator, but next time my questions will be harder to answer. Your luck will run out, gusty gummy gator. <laughs> Whoa! He's gone! Heck, are, are you still there? Yeah, Gus, I'm here. That was a close one. Hey, Gus! All my alerts have cleared up. Did you defeat Gustav? We sure did, Red Titan! Peck came through yet again! We couldn't let Gustav get away with his evil plan! That's great, Gus! As a gift for doing such a fantastic job, here's the New York Road Trip sticker! Wow! This is so cool! I want to collect them all! Wow! It's Alpha Lex has the Statue of Liberty! <laughs> Thanks, Red Titan! No problem, guys! You both earned it! I almost forgot! I noticed the Statue of Liberty was missing, Red Titan! Do you need any help finding it? Nope, Dark Titan was up to no good, but our friend Peck the Penguin helped me out with that one too! Thanks again, Peck! You're welcome, Red Titan! <laughs> the road trips are over for today, little gators, but woohoo! We had a lot of fun! First, we went to California. This is where we learned that the Golden Gate Bridge is 746 feet tall. Then we went to Yosemite National Park, where we learned about the wildlife that lived there. Then we went to New York! We saw lots of buildings and flashing lights when we got to Times Square. And after that, we went to Central Park, where we learned that the park is 843 acres big! Thanks for coming along on this road trip, little gators! I need to find me some gummies! This gator is hungry! See you next time, little gators! Bye! Hiya, little gators! I'm on my way to the fourth planet in our solar system! The red planet, Mars! Look, there it is! The color of it kinda looks like a giant gummy planet, huh? Makes me kinda hungry! <laughs> We're about 245 million miles away from Earth! Even though it's the next planet in our solar system, it's still a long way to travel! If you wanted to travel to Mars, it would take between six to eight months to make this journey. I wonder what else we'll learn on this adventure to Mars. Let's check it out, little gators. We made it! Oh, it's a lot c colder here than on Earth. M -m Maybe I should get my space suit on. Mars is further away from the sun, and it has a very thin, dry atmosphere. This is why Mars is much colder than Earth. But the cold won't stop me from exploring. Let's land this thing. I'm ready to explore. I just hope we don't run into any dust storms. Wow! I forgot about the difference in gravity! <laughs> Mars has less gravity than Earth! I can walk, 
but it's bouncy! At least I won't float away! <laughs> hey! What's that over there? Whoa! These must be the rovers sent to Mars! <laughs> Look! They're bigger than me! Everybody, meet the Mars rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance! Hi, Curiosity! Nice to meet you, Perseverance! These rovers are seven feet tall, nine feet wide, and ten feet long! That's the size of a car! <laughs> they also weigh the amount of two grand pianos! Curiosity here has been on Mars since 2012! Curiosity's mission is to study the environment on Mars and find out if small life forms called microbes can live there. Curiosity has done such a great job on planet Mars, we sent him a friend to keep him company! <laughs> the rover Perseverance arrived on Mars February 18, 2021! Perseverance's job is to look for signs of ancient life by collecting and storing samples of rocks and soil. Hopefully, this will help prepare for human missions to Mars in the future. They even have color cameras for inspecting things close up, but also for selfies. The rovers have to inspect themselves to make sure they're operating in good shape. And looking good! Group selfie! Everybody say, Gummies! Okay, okay, I'll let you guys get back to work. Look, that has to be Mars's moon! Wow! Wait, there's another one! <laughs> That's right, Mars has two moons! One is called Phobos, and the other one is called Deimos. Uh-oh, it's a Martian dust storm! Mars is known for these intense dust storms! Sometimes they can last for weeks! <laughs> I'm gonna have dust in all the wrong places! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm okay! Woo! I'm happy we're out of the dust storm! It's a good thing this wall broke my fall! Whoa! This isn't a wall! It's a volcano! It's not just any volcano either! It's Olympus Mons! Do you guys remember what makes this volcano unique in the whole solar system? It's the tallest in the whole solar system! Yeah, it's a giant! That's right! Olympus Mons is the tallest volcano in the whole solar system! It's as tall as two and a half Mount Everest mountains on Earth! And it's also the size of the state of Arizona! This is the best planet to play floor is lava because the ground is already red like lava! <laughs> Did you know Mars is red because the rocks here are full of iron? The iron gets swept over the entire surface in dust storms! So the whole planet looks red because the atmosphere is so full of iron! I have an idea! Why don't we take a sample back to Earth? We could study it or keep it as a souvenir. Either way, I'm sure Peck would be happy to take a look at it. Sounds like I'm getting hungry. Let's head home. I wonder what Mama's cooking for dinner. Mars is such a cool planet. I'm happy we met the Mars rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance. They're doing a great job researching ancient life on Mars and checking if it is habitable for microbes. And hopefully all the red dust stays out of their gears, since Mars is known for extreme dust storms that can last for weeks. Those winds blew me away. At least I got to see the solar system's tallest volcano mountain, Olympus Mons. It's the size of two and a half Mount Everest mountains. Thanks for exploring the fourth planet Mars with me. I'll see you next time, little gators. Bye! Hi, little gators! I'm eating sushi for the very first time in Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. And that right there is the Sky Tree Tower. 
Tokyo's tallest building! Almost completed! This will be the tallest piece in my worldwide landmark collection! <laughs> Something doesn't seem right, little gators! Hey! That looks like Combo! But why do his eyes have a green glow? Hey, guys! Combo, someone just shrunk the Sky Tree Tower in Tokyo! And I thought I just saw you running away from this scene! Did you do this? Of course not, guys! Well, now that I think about it, your eyes don't have a green glow. Wait a second! Eyes that have a green glow? That's Robo Combo, guys! Oh, oh no! Robo Combo doesn't look like he's that far away! Send Pop Secret! Aha! Got you, Robo Combo! Ah! <laughs> he's around here somewhere. I guess I have to play to win! you again! Now tell me where the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower is! What if I don't want to tell you? Mission successful! I have shrunk the Tokyo Sky Tree Tower and turned it into a necklace! <gasps> <laughs> you may have the tower, but you will never be able to get it back to its normal size! Maybe he's right, little gators. How am I ever going to restore the Sky Tree Tower back to normal? Use your Robo Combo Tracker. See where he went, Gus. Oh, of course. Let's see where Robo Combo stopped. This sign says Tokyo Sky Tree Tower. This is where the tower would be. He's got to be somewhere around here. Gus may have the necklace. But he doesn't have the shrink it blaster! Not for long! No! You didn't! Oh, rats! The gun was on shrink mode! Here we go! Time to restore the Sky Tree Tower to the original size! This only marks the beginning of my worldwide landmark collection. <laughs> oh no, little gators! Looks like Robo Combo is headed somewhere fast, and I've got a bad feeling about this. Hey, little gators! Robo Combo just flew away, and I'm sure he's up to no good. Well, there you are, Shug. They've been looking all over for you. We need to get going or we'll miss our flight to Paris, France. That's right, hun. Paris is home to the Eiffel Tower. It's one of the world's most famous landmarks, and it has really bright lights that glow every hour. Wow! I didn't know that. That's so cool. Come on, Shug. Let's get going. Woohoo! We're almost there, little gators. Oh, no! What is Robo Combo doing here? It looks like he's headed for the Eiffel Tower! I knew he was up to no good! Ha-ha! I finally made it to Paris! Gustave will be so excited to have the Eiffel Tower for his worldwide landmark collection! Look, Shug! It's the Eiffel Tower! It looks so much bigger in person! Okay, sport! Mom and I are going to look for some matching t-shirts, so you can go ahead and explore for a bit. But don't go too far! Really? Woohoo! That means I get to go look for Robo Combo! Bye! <laughs> what was that, little gators? <laughs> Robo Combo is shrinking the Eiffel Tower this time! 
Finally, Gustav will be so pleased! Robocomo! Why did you shrink the eye book's power? Whoa! Gus the Gummy Gator! How did you find me here? You may have stopped my plans before, but you are too late this time! Catch me if you can! <laughs> oh, rats! You won't get away with this! <laughs> Gus the Gummy Gator is in the dust! I knew he couldn't catch me! <laughs> Oh, that really hurt. Now where's that tiny tower? Oh, here it is. I better get this to Gustav right away. Oh no, he got away. Huh? What's that? Wait a second. Why is this Eiffel Tower glowing and not the others? Paris is home to the Eiffel Tower. It's one of the world's most famous landmarks, and it has really bright lights that glow every hour! I remember now! Dad said the Eiffel Tower lights up once every hour! That means this must be the real Eiffel Tower! Oh, let me check what this paper says! Whoa! This looks like the checklist of landmarks Robocombo is planning on tricking! If we were already in Tokyo, and we're in Paris now, that must mean Robocombo is going to Africa next! Before we get going, I'll use the trinket ray to bring the Eiffel Tower back to normal size. Woohoo, little gators! Look, the Eiffel Tower is getting huge again! Way to go, Gus! I knew you could do it! Great news, Gustav! I shrunk the Eiffel Tower, just like you asked. <laughs> Excellent. Hand it over, Robo. Hmm. Hmm? What's this? A price tag? Robo Combo, this is a souvenir, not the Eiffel Tower. Yeah! <laughs> Oops. I guess Gus beat me again. There you are, Shug. Oh, we were so worried about you. The Eiffel Tower shrunk down and then got all big again. I don't know what is going on, but we gotta get out of here. Sounds great. Can we go to Africa? I really want to see the giant pyramids. Well, our next stop on our trip is London, but I guess we can take a detour. Woohoo! Bye, little gators. Uh, I hope I get to Africa before Robocomo does. Hiya, little gators. We finally made it to Egypt, and we're almost to the Great Pyramids. I can't wait to take some pictures with the Great Pyramids. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> These pyramids will be the most ancient piece in my worldwide landmark collection! <laughs> I thought you would be the most ancient thi- What? Did you say something? Eh, doesn't matter. Bring those pyramids to me, Robo. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> to the Great Pyramids! Oh, hurry, Camel! Kids are going any faster! Oh no, little gators! The pyramids are gone! Do you think I can get a good angle of the pyramids from here? You're just so cute! Robo is getting away in that boat! Honey, get in the picture! These camels are hilarious! <laughs> Did you know that camels can drink up to 30 gallons of water in under 15 minutes? Whoa! Guess they'll be here for a while. <laughs> uh, Mama, all this talk about water makes me need to... Go ahead, Shug. This'll be our pit stop. There should be a restroom nearby. Thanks, Mama. I won't take long. Row, 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 bow combo, stealing is my game. I will have the oh so great pyramids one day, and then I'll get my fame. Oh, what's that? This must be the map to Robocombo's secret hideout. Whoa, what are all these symbols, little gators? They're hieroglyphics, Gus. It's an ancient language used by the Egyptians. Oh, wow! Well, let's see where the map takes us. Whoa! 
combination has a bunch of hieroglyphic symbols on it. Kind of like the ones I saw earlier on the map. Oh yeah! We can use the map! The first symbol is… here! Then we turn it to this one… And then finally, we go to this symbol! Ta-da! I can't remember how to get this door open! Little Gators! Look! Robo Combo put the Great Pyramids on that pedestal! What do I gotta do to get this thing? Uh -oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, that was a close one! Woohoo! Robo wasn't able to grab the pyramids! We did it, Little Gators! Let's return the pyramids back where they belong! Are you guys ready to see the Great Pyramids? Of course, son! We've been waiting on you! What a sight to see! Great idea to come see the pyramids, Gus! Ah, how could you just leave my precious pyramids behind like that? I was just… This is your last chance, Robo Combo! Time to take over! <laughs> oh no! Little <laughs> Gators, Robocomo's master plan says he's going to London next! We've got to hurry! Uh, hiya, Little Gators! We're in London now, and I'm super nervous because Robocomo's master plan shows he's coming this way too! Oh, I sure do hope we find Robocomo in time to stop his master plan! And if you look over to your left, you'll see the Big Ben Clock Tower. It was once known as the Victoria Tower, named after Queen Victoria, and its bell chimes once an hour. Wow! <laughs> Soon the Big Ben Tower will be all mine! Oh no! What happened? Stop the bus! <laughs> Looks like Robocombo's at it again! This is my last chance to finally beat Gus! Time to get the final landmark for Gustav's master plan! Oh no, Little Gators! Robocombo is under Gustav's control! I have to use the Robo Scrambler to bring him back to his senses! Last time Gustav had control over Robo Combo, he made him steal all the electricity! I was able to plug in the Robo Scrambler to make him reboot, and Robo Combo came back to his senses! Whoa! Did you see that, little Gators? How is that even possible? Look, little gators! A note! Big Ben! Do you think it's a clue? The keypad has letters, Gus! Type the letters from the note! Oh! You're right, little gators! Looking good! B-I-G-B-E-N! <laughs> Robocombo has to be around here somewhere! Robocombo has to be around here somewhere! Uh-oh! Someone followed me down here! I better hide! Fast! I thought I just heard Robocombo say something! Wait a second! Where did Gus the Gummy Gator go? Hmm. Hello, Gus! Is there anything I could do to be of assistance? Woohoo! Robocombo is back to his normal self! Robo, can you tell me where we are? Why, certainly, Gus! We are deep underground in Gustav's secret lair! I knew he was behind this! Wait a minute! I know how we can stop Gustav! Follow me, Robo! Great news, Gustav! I have finally brought you the Big Ben Clock Tower for your personal landmark collection! Excellent, Robo! You've made me very proud! The Big Ben is all mine! 
Now, Gus! Yeah! <laughs> Robo Combo, you tricked me! Gus the Gummy Gator, you've defeated me yet again! It's not nice to take things that don't belong to you, Gustav! <laughs> Silly Gator, I won't stop until I take over the entire world! <laughs> oh, oh no, you, you don't. don't! Oh no, he got away! That's okay, Robo, we'll get him next time! Come on, Robo, let's go back to the surface and return the Big Ben Tower to where it belongs! Great job, Gus! You restored the tower back to its normal size! Woohoo! Thank you, Robo! I couldn't have done it without you! Oh, that reminds me! I need to get back to my parents! They're probably worried about me! Hey, there you are, Sport! We were wondering where you went! Oh, Shug, sure, you missed the magic show! The Big Ben shrunk and then got all big again! It was amazing! <laughs> That's okay, Mama! Robocombo and I did some magic of our own! Thanks for watching my show today, Little Gators! See you next time! Bye! Bye. Are we there yet, Gus? Almost! Ha-ha! Uh. <laughs> Found it! Combo Bunga! I thought we'd never find the right spot! I hope you're ready for a weekend in the wilderness, Combo! We could put the tent there and the campfire beside it! Ew! No campfire is complete without spooky campfire stories! Spooky stories? Yeah! Like the legend of Black and Whitebeard the pirate! No! Or the ghost of the Shady Woods! Ghost of Shady Wood? Waits until you're not expecting it, then he jumps out and scares ya! Then he disappears, never to be seen again. <laughs> A good one, Combo. I almost believed you when you shook the bush. I didn't shake the bush. So if that wasn't you... And it wasn't you... That means... The Ghost of the Shady Woods! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Shady Woods Ghost? Congratulations! You scared us! Wait a second. <laughs> it was just an insect! Hey guys, do you know what kind of insect this is? A grasshopper! Yeah, it's a grasshopper! That's right! Grasshoppers like this guy can jump up to 30 inches in the air! Well, that's a relief. While you hang out with your new grasshopper friend, I'll just put up the tent. You know, Combo, I should probably be the one to make the tent. I did come in first place for the tent assembly when I was working to become a Gator Scout. Combo? Isn't it wonderful? Sure, uh, it just needs, um, a little work. I'm not sure what else can be done. I think it's flawless. I followed every instruction to perfection. There's no way it could get any better than- Sorry, what were you saying, Combo? Uh, well, I did most of the work. <laughs> Looking good. Now I just need firewood for the campfire. Piece of bamboo cake. Let's go. Woohoo! What exactly are we looking for, Combo? Everybody knows a good campfire story must be over a campfire with the best wood in the forest. Well, you know in a forest like this, there are nearly 5,500 trees. Aha! What? Do you see what I see, Gus? Wow! Combo Bunga is right! It's even chopped for us in everything! Come on! Wait! You hear that too? I'm sure it's just, uh, another grasshopper! Yeah! Yeah, it'll be fine! Let's move slowly just in case! Good idea! Uh, Combo? That sounds like a big grasshopper! It's fine, guys! 
We just gotta be quick before the ghost, I, I mean, uh, uh, the grasshopper jumps out again. Is that a shadow? Do ghosts have shadows? No, but grasshoppers do. It's just a really big grasshopper. Yeah, with heavy footsteps and... Ah! We're sorry, so sorry! <laughs> yeah, we were just leaving! Oh, no you're not. Were you two trying to steal some of my campfire wood? Borrow is a better word. Trade! We could trade! Trade, huh? I could do a trade. I am hungry. Pandas don't really taste that good. I'm sure I have some gummies. No, I want fish. Fish, we know how to fish. You bring me fish, I will trade you firewood. Yes, we'll be right back with your order of fish. What he said. Yeah, they were nice. Oh, I'm happy you brought your fishing pole combo. Yeah, this fishing pole has never let me down. Look, 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 whoa! Wow, you already caught something? Told you this fishing pole is lucky! Wait! This isn't a fish! Oh, what's a boat doing here? Oh, rat, that's trash! It's okay. We'll dispose of this litter properly. If you ever find trash, make sure you recycle it. It's not good for the environment. Yeah, we have to keep the water clean for the fish. That's right! Speaking of... Already? Oh, this fish is a big one! Bigfoot will be happy! A tiger! Another addition to the recycling bin! Third time is the charm! You're sure to catch fish now! Guess I think you're right! I hope so! This feels like a fish! If it's a fish, we can finally trade Bigfoot for some firewood! Cabo-bunga! Let's get this fish to Mr. Bigfoot! Warm and cozy campfire, here we come! Here's your fish, Mr. Bigfoot! We caught it just for you! Hmm, I will accept it, but I must ask for another favor. Hey! That wasn't part of the deal! Hang on, Combo! But he said all he wanted was a fish! Does he want fries, too? No. Can you tell us what else it is? Friends. Oh. Of course we could be friends. Yeah, man. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> you know, I can teach you how to fish so that you can get food whenever you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had such a great adventure with you guys today. You guys are good friends. And friends tell campfire stories. As long as it isn't the one about the ghost of Shady Woods! Oh, he's my friend too! Aw, <laughs> 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 oh, good one, Biggie! <laughs> I had you going! <laughs> See you next time, little gators! Bye! Hiya, little gators! There's a snowstorm outside! This reminds me of the time I met a creature some people think is just imaginary. Do you want to hear that story? Tell us, Gus. I want to hear the story. Okay. Whew. This is the story of the time I met the Yeti. Or my favorite name for him, The Abominable Snowman! <gasps> what was that? It all started when I was on an adventure through the mountains. I usually like to go and fall when the trees have so many colors. Red, orange, yellow, and even green! My favorite color! But I had to finish a giant project for school, and I couldn't go on my hiking trip until it was done. It was the biggest slime volcano I've ever made, and it took me forever. I got an A on the project.
project, by the way. So, once I was all done with my project, I went on my hiking trip. In the winter! You guys know what happens in the mountains during winter? It snows! Yeah, it snows! That's right! Surprise, surprise! Everything was covered in snow! More snow than I'd ever seen in my life! But you know what? I'm always up for a challenge! So, it's a wonderful day. I feel good, I look good, I'm on my hike, and then I remember... I forgot to pack my gummies! <laughs> do you know what I had to do next, little gators? Did you go home? Did you call for help? Nope, didn't go home. And I didn't call for help. I had to get my own snacks. So I go a different route to look for snacks. When I keep exploring, I find something so cool. I find this cave. I thought someone may be in there to offer me a snack. So I call out. Hello? Hello? And do you know what happened next? Was there a bear? Did you find any snacks? Nope. I felt something on my foot. Next thing you know, I'm hanging from a trap. What? Oh, no. I don't worry, because if I wasn't hanging upside down in the air, something worse could have happened. While I was stuck in the trap, I saw a giant snowball rolling by, and another one, and another one. But you'll never believe what happened next. What happened? Yeah, tell us. There was an avalanche. Snow was falling all around me, and I couldn't do anything because I was still caught in the trap. I was just happy that the avalanche snow didn't fall on me. But just when I think I'm feeling lucky, I hear a sound. A sound like footsteps. And they were getting louder and louder, and I was closing my eyes so tight and pretending I wasn't there, but then the footsteps stopped, and I take a peek. Can you guess what I saw? It was the Yeti! Yeah, the abominable snowman! That's right! He got closer and closer, and there was nothing I could do but hang there. All I could see was that he was giant, and he had something in his hand. I told him, I didn't know this was your mountain. I, I was just looking for snacks. If you let me down, I, I promise I'll leave you alone. Can you guess what he said next? Did he let you hang there forever? Did he tell you to never come back? No. He did something you'll never believe. He cut the rope that trapped me! Then, did he tell you to never come back? Nope, but he did do something else. What? What did he do? He smiled. <laughs> what? That's right. Of course, I fell to the ground and was dizzy for a few seconds. But the Yeti was actually a nice guy. He told me to be careful because people set those traps all around the mountain in the winter, hoping to catch him. Aww! I can't believe you met him! It turns out he just wanted a nice friend. So we spent the rest of the day having a snowball fight, sliding down the mountain on logs. He even showed me the best spot on the mountain to pick berries, since I was so hungry. And just like that, I made another friend, the abominable snowman. He even told me all about his family and his favorite cousin, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all for now, little gators. I'll see you next time. Bye! Whoa. Hiya, little gators! I got a note to come to school today, but school is out. And nobody's here? Gotcha! Ah! Oops. He'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. oh rats. I'm pranked again? <laughs> I caught you. Wait. Who are 
you! I am the Game Master! <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Game Master! I'm Gusty Gummy Gator! And, uh, can you let me out now? Nope! You have to escape! <laughs> I have to escape this box! That's right! This is the 1000 Mystery Button Challenge! And only one button will let you escape. Good luck! <laughs> I'm gonna need all the luck I can get! Let's try this one! Oh! Uh, at least it was refreshing? I was hoping he'd press that button. <laughs> Please be a good one. <laughs> oh, look at the little baby. <laughs> you know what? You can just stay like this. This is fine. Aww, even baby Gus loves gummies. <laughs> but you don't have any teeth yet. You can't eat them. <laughs> gummies! I love the yummy gummies! Oh, I'm gonna miss baby Gus. I gotta escape this box! Not slime! Ah! <laughs> Who doesn't love slime? <laughs> Not me! Not when you're the one being pranked! Well, press the right button so you can escape! Let's try this one! Oh gosh! That's unsettling! Is this what it feels like to be Peck? Hmm, I don't feel any smarter. I don't think it works like that. Before I escape, I gotta turn back into me! So, please turn me into myself. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh! Where are you taking me? Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Lava! Come on! Where's the button? Where's the button? I gotta find a button! There it is! Okay, I just gotta get up there. Uh, what would Peck do? Oh, he's a bird! Wait! Uh, I forgot! Penguins can't fly! It's fine, uh, gators can't fly either. Just gotta hop! The floor is lava, right? And it's rising! <sighs> okay, hop, hop! Whew, that was a close one. Okay, come on, lucky button. Send me back to the box again so I can turn back into me! Oh, God! Um, now what? Pecky Peckington! Dude, you're finally here to take a look at it! Come on! Uh, yeah! Just here, looking for stuff! So, what do you think? Uh, according to my calculations, uh, uh, it's all in the name of science! And, um, oh boy! I was thinking the same thing, you know? It did look a little sus. And... <gasps> Wahoo! I'm me again! And I had to think to myself, what would Peck do, you know? And now you're here! Uh... Gussie Man! What up, bro? Hey, Big Gil! I, um... Left a button down here, have you seen it? Yeah, I passed one on the way over here. Hey, 
you see where Peck went? Yeah, uh, he went um back up to the surface. Yeah, you just missed him. Oh, right. Uh, I keep forgetting. Penguins don't have gills like a sharks. All right. See ya, Gussie. Okay, now I'm me, but I need to get back. Let's find that button. Aha! Here it is. Now take me back to the box. Ah! Uh, please let me escape. Uh, okay, that's enough teleporting. I need to get out of here. Oh, you're you again. Yep, and looking good. I don't know. I think you looked better before. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, good, dinosaur. Just press another button, okay? That's it. Press one of the pretty colors. That was scary. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Wait, did he do it? I did it, and I'm still me. <laughs> I won the challenge. Now get out here and show your real face, Mr. Game Master. Fine, fine. I guess you won. It was just me. Peck? So wait, I was you? Yeah. I needed to get you back for the time you put a hole in the ceiling of my science lab. <laughs> okay, I guess you're right. At least you picked a really cool challenge. And I think Big Gill needs your help, by the way. Is it about the bioluminescent algae? Uh, yeah? Ugh, well, I told him like a thousand times. Well, thanks for watching, little gators. I'll see you next time. <laughs>